Hi, today's selection is Waterbeds Sleeping in the Ocean. The author is Gail Langer Karwaski, and my illustrator is Connie McLennan. The publisher is Arbordale Publishing. This is our preface. It provides information about the book before the story actually starts. It says, all mammals, those who live on land and in water, share the need for sleep. We humans should be experts on sleep. After all, we spend about a third of our lives sleeping. We all know how it feels to be tired. We enjoy the renewed energy that we feel after sleeping. Because of these feelings, most people think we sleep to rest our muscles. If resting our muscles was enough, we could watch TV or read all night. But we cannot live without sleep. Why? Scientists think our brains require sleep to keep working. Since whales and dolphins swim day and night, they don't appear to sleep. But studies of these mammals show that they can sleep while they swim. They are able to let one side of their brain sleep while the other side stays awake. Scientists call this Unihemispheric sleep because one, uni, half, hemi of their brain is sleeping. For these mammals, being half asleep is more than just a lighthearted expression. Some seals are also able to be half asleep. These marine mammals often sleep on the shore but they can sleep in water too. When they sleep in the ocean, harbor seals, fur seals, and walruses get into a position that lets their bodies bob at the surface with their snouts in the air. Elephant seals have the most unusual sleeping habit. These mammals spend months at sea mostly in the deep layers of the ocean. Scientists think these amazing divers sleep while they are in the depths. They can actually go as long as two hours without breathing air because oxygen is stored in their blood and spleens. When elephant seals are in the dream stage of sleep, they suspend their breathing entirely. Scientists call this sleep apnea. Oddly enough, when elephant seals are sleeping on land, they also suspend their breathing during the dream portion of their sleep. All of the brief portraits of sleeping marine mammals in this book are accurate. Some marine mammals sleep for hours at a time, like sea otters. Others, like manatees, sleep for only a few minutes before rising to the surface to breathe. Some swim half asleep, like orcas. Others bob in the water with their heads above the surface. The more scientists study marine mammals, the more they discover about the animal's amazing adaptations to their watery environment. It's fun to think about marine mammals sleeping in the deep, deep sea as we curl up in our own warm, dry beds. As our minds drift into sleep, we can pretend that we're floating on gentle waves all night long. Waterbeds Sleeping in the Ocean by Gail Langer Karwaski and illustrated by Connie McLennan.
It's night, little person, and you're tucked in your warm, dry bed. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to sleep in the deep, deep sea? Orcas sleep as they glide side by side in their pod. Four minutes of rest, then up to breathe. Up they come, one after another, a rhythmic dance of black and white in the blue sea. Harbor seals may haul out on the shore or hover in the sea. With flippers tucked against their sides, they hang like bottles in the water. Only their slick foreheads, closed eyes, and whiskered snouts poke above the surface. There they are. Dolphins nap, half asleep, one eye closed to rest, one eye open to watch. A sleep in the deep can be dangerous. So wide awake dolphins swim round the sleepy heads and keep them safe. Manatees sleep in warm rivers and in the sea. They rest both snout and tail on sandy riverbeds. Every few minutes, they rise like bubbles to the surface and breathe. Slowly they sneak, sink to snooze again. Humpback babies nap behind mother whale's long and graceful flipper. As mother moves through the vast ocean, her mighty body creates a current that tows the sleepy baby along. Here's the sleepy baby. Northern fur seals sleep in a heap when they are on the shore, but when they're in the ocean, they curl like jug handles and rock gently on the tide. Beluga whales float like white clouds, their blowholes in the air, or they doze peacefully beneath rich northern waters. Walruses snooze either on the chilly shore or in the icy sea. Thick blubber under their skin keeps them warm. Air sacs inside their necks hold up their heads and heavy tusks so they bob like buoys in the brine. Elephant seals pop through the surface to breathe in and out. Down, 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 they dive through dark, deep water. Far below danger, they dream undisturbed. Sea otters doze above undersea kelp forests wrapping the kelp strands around their tummies to anchor themselves in place. When it's very cold, they blanket their faces with furry front paws. Then they shut their eyes tight and sleep through the night.
It's fun to imagine a sleep in the deep, but a warm, cozy bed is the perfect spot for you to sleep. Open your mouth and give a great big yawn. You won't swallow a drop of salty water. Curl up, little person. Stretch out and sink onto your soft pillow. As you drift into deep blue dreams, you will float on gentle waves all night long. Now, the back of this book, if it had been a book of, in print, would have had these pages for Creative Minds. The publisher, Arborddale Publishing, had the pages available as a PDF, which I downloaded and I will attach to my Google Classroom and hopefully to my webpage so you'll be able to download it and complete this creative activity. But that was Waterbeds sleeping in the ocean it is an ar book it's ar quiz 89486 it's a 3.6 book level and it's worth half a point